junk food can cause permanent brain damage. A new study has found that rats fed a diet of junk food from a young age have permanent brain damage. It turns out that a poor diet can disrupt the ability to remember for a long time. Junk food refers to cheap food products high in fats, sugars, and salts, as well as artificial additives, dyes, and flavor enhancers, but with little to no other essential nutrients. This group can include unhealthy snacks such as chips, sodas, or fries. New research, published in Brain, Behavior, and Immunity, has shown that growing up on such a diet can lead to permanent memory disorders. The study, conducted by Scott Kanosky of the University of Southern California and his team, looked at how a diet high in fats and sugars affect young people, particularly during adolescence, when their brains undergo significant development. The researchers monitored the level of acetylcholine in a group of rats that had been on a Western-style diet since birth, characterized by being high in fat, sweet, and highly processed. The study also included rats fed a normal diet, which served as a control group. The scientists prepared a special test for the rats to analyze their reactions to certain tasks, aiming to check their memory. The test involved allowing the rats to explore new objects in different locations. After a few days, the researchers reintroduced the rats to a nearly identical location that differed from the previous one in that it had one additional object. The results of the experiment showed that rats fed junk food behaved as if they did not remember which object and where they had seen it before. They were unable to identify new objects in a location they had explored a few days earlier. These memory problems persisted even after switching to a healthy diet. In contrast, rats from the control group demonstrated familiarity with the place. It appears that diets high in simple sugars and saturated fats disrupt acetylcholine signaling, a key neurotransmitter in animal brains responsible for memory. Rats from the junk food group had reduced levels of the protein that transports acetylcholine in the hippocampus, an area of the brain that helps consolidate memories and spatial information. Further imaging revealed that this reduction disrupted acetylcholine signaling in animals that performed poorly on memory tasks. Acetylcholine signaling is a mechanism that helps encode and remember various events, similar to episodic memory in humans, which allows us to remember past events. It seems that this signal is absent in animals that grew up on a diet high in fats and sugars, explained Anna Hayes. Konoski emphasized that adolescence is a very sensitive period for the brain, with important changes taking place. Observations of rats showed that memory problems were long-lasting. Unfortunately, some things that may be more easily reversible in adulthood are less reversible when they occur in childhood, he noted. In further studies, Scientists checked whether the memory damage in rats raised on junk food could be reversed using substances that induced the release of acetylcholine. After administering these substances, the rat's memory was restored. Whether the results of these studies can be applied to humans is another question. Similar studies would need to be conducted with teenagers. However, the scientist's work shows what a poor diet can do and adds another piece of evidence to the already accumulated data on the harmfulness of junk food.